Um, so, sorry for that intro. Um, today I am going to be doing stuff. That's the video. <laughs> no, I'm joking. T today I'm going to be doing, by, I'm going to be making, like, these bracelets. I also made a ring, but I made these last night. So, yeah, I'm going to be making these bracelets and show you guys kind of how to make them. And first off, first and foremost, make sure you like this video if you like it and you want to see more of these crafty DIY things. Dislike this video if you don't like it. So, I make other content. And subscribe. Because then... You'll make me happy, and you'll be happy, because you're going to be watching these videos, and I'm going to be coming up with better ideas in the future. And I'm very funny, I think. Maybe if I keep saying it, one day it will be true. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but yeah. Today, we are going to be making one of these, and I'm making it for my mom. So, it's like... A nice birthday gift. Her birthday is not close. Yeah. A nice Mother's Day gift. So yeah, nice birthday gift, nice Mother's Day gift. Gift in general. Um, I'm, boys, you can make it too. Doesn't matter. You can wear it if you like it. And it can just be for you too. Or it can just be as a gift gift to anyone. <laughs> gift gift to anyone you want. And I will. So you yeah. And I make it with these, like, kind of, you'll see. But, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Let's get right into the video. It's perfect for your dog, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's my doggy. Hi, Mom. <laughs> that's my kitty. And we have the screen on, so. Good kitty. And... My dog is tired because it's kind of late right now and I'm filming this. So yeah, we're going to be making these. Go to your dog if you want. Just Actually, don't do that, please. Don't let them eat it. And so yeah, we're probably going to change locations in three, two, one. God, what the heck? Okay, so first. So it's got, no, I'm joking, but do it. I'm going to unknot this real quick, so just give me a second. The materials you're going to need are, I'll tell you in two seconds, just let me unknot this first. This might take a while, so I'm going to get back to you when it's done. Okay, so I tried, and... Usually this isn't hard to unknot, but right now it is. <laughs> so like, I don't know. So what you're gonna do first is, the materials you're gonna need are this type of elastic, like the clear stretchy type, if that makes sense. It's like this, like you know those bracelets, um, that like stretch around so they fit on you that type and you're gonna use that type of clear elastic if you don't want to or if you don't have it you can just use any type really of like string or anything like that but I'm gonna be using this because that's I have a kit right here and that's what I came with so this is the first material you're gonna need that I'm gonna use again you can just use any type of like string you want um, and the second material you're going to need are, um, kind of like little, yeah, little beads. I have uh, these beads. Oh, I don't want them. I have like these type of beads. Um, but again, use any type of bead you want. If you don't have beads, it's fine. Um, I will show another way you can make it because I have another kit downstairs. Um, in my basement. I'll show you another way in tomorrow's video, or maybe I'll post it today too. But um, you're going to need clear elastic or any type of like rope and some beads. And that's really 
all you're gonna need except one more thing. Let me just get that real quick. If you are using the um, clear elastic, you'll notice that the knots don't really hold that well and it might come undone. If, and so when you're finished, you're gonna be using some clear nail polish. And you're probably being like, what, Fiona, why don't I just use glue or something like that? It's because glue might not be strong enough. And in my kit, sorry, I keep mentioning the kit, but in my kit, it shows that you should use um, some clear nail polish. I'm just saying clear. You can use colored if you want, but clear to me, I'm pretty sure it has to be clear, but I don't know. Clear to me is just like the best type. And it's the one, I'm just following the rules. And not saying you aren't if um, you don't use clear. It, and you'll also need scissors. I'm using these scissors because these are the scissors I brought upstairs. Um, but you can really use any scissors you want. Any type of uh, na clear nail polish. I really recommend the clear nail polish though. And not colored. Just so you can see the prettiness of the beads. And I'm pretty sure... It works the best with clear nail polish. If you want, you can get a ruler. I personally don't use a ruler because, again, I'm making this for my mom and um, I just kind of don't want to get one. But it's easier for me without a ruler. But if you want a ruler, get yourself a ruler. So what you're going to do is measure the elastic out. You can't really see it, but you're going to measure it out so, just so it... I'm making it for my mom, again, so it's not going to fit me. Just so it's a cup, like, you're going to be, you're going to be all weird out by this, but you're going to make it long, like, a couple of inches longer, like, three or four, maybe. Like, two, three, or four, just because um, you're going to be tying a knot so the beads don't just slide off, and you're also, in the end, going to be tying it together. So, in the end, it will it will eventually become the same size as your wrist, if not bigger or smaller. But there's no problem with that. If it's smaller, give it to your little sibling if you have one, or like a cousin, or a friend, possibly. But you can always just re-watch this video um, and remake it bigger, though. So, so first you're going to measure your elastic at it just so it's... a um, a couple of inches bigger than your wrist. If you want to use a ruler, use a ruler. Then you're going to cut it in half. No, not in half, sorry. You're going to cut it that length. Remember, a couple of inches bigger though. And then you're going to tie a knot. I tied my knot already, but my bees are a little big, so it kind of slides off the knot. So I'm going to tie another knot. I'll show you how. So first, I don't know. Yeah, you can see my little knot. Um, what you're going to do, wrap it around your finger. And if this is too hard, just asking a parent, they'll probably know how to do it. Um, pull it off your finger, take this little piece right there, and put it through that little loop. And pull it really tight, pull it tight, and then boom, you have your knot. Um, if you want, you can rewatch that part, or just ask an adult. Um, I just make bracelets a lot, so it's easier for me, but if it's not that easy, it wasn't easy for me the first time, so don't, don't stress out. Not everyone can do it. It's like how not everyone can snap. So, then after you do that, those two steps, what you're gonna do, pick out your bead pattern. So, I'm gonna, um, so you guys don't have to see, like, watch me just put the beads down and, like, pick out my bead pattern. I'm going to um, get you guys, like, come back when I have my bead pattern shut up. And I, sh sh not, don't, when I have my bead pat, I don't know what I was just saying. When I have my bead pattern set up, I'm going to come back to you guys and show you my bead pattern if you want to um, do the same one, if you think it's nice. So, yeah, I will see you guys in a couple of minutes. Okay, so that might have been, like, not even a second for you guys, but that took, like, about five minutes. So don't get annoyed. Don't restart if you mess up. 
just keep going. Like, take that beat out, put it back, and figure it out. Because I messed up a couple of times, but I didn't restart. I didn't stress out. I just took my time. And so my pattern is I'm – I'll show <laughs> – okay. So my pattern is – I'll say it and then show it. Small gold bead, and I'm doing a little bit at a time. So, like, I did only a little bit. I did, like, mine is this length right now because I know I'm going to have to stop a little earlier just because, you know, like, I need to tie it and have all that stuff you'll see in the end of this video. So my pattern is a small gold bead, then, and, like, a, a this bead. So here, my pattern is small gold this is what i mean by small gold and then this is what i mean by like medium pink and same like medium blues and all that stuff and it's gonna be shiny mine and like shimmery so small gold medium sized pink small gold medium sized light blue small gold hot pink small gold white small gold um light pink medium sized light pink um, and then what I mean when I say magenta bead, that means this little sized bead, okay? So magenta bead, um, light blue medium sized bead, magenta, hot pink, magenta, white, magenta, light pink, gold bead, light blue, gold bead, um, hot pink, gold bead, white, and gold bead. Actually, I'm going to take out that last gold bead because I started with a gold bead, so it would be two gold beads, and I only want one gold bead in the end. So now I'll show you my pattern. That right there, it starts here. So this is my pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can you can see it. So that's my pattern, okay? So now, sorry, now after you set up your pattern, what you're going to do is take this with the knotted end a couple you might have to like tighten it a couple of times. Um so you're going to take your clear elastic and put that end you knotted facing down. And then what you're going to do Take your first bead, which is, mine is a small gold bead, and put it, sorry, put it through your clear elastic. And now, what, you're gonna, like, I, the, like, a couple of times, feel like, oh my gosh, this is so hard, I might as well just give up threading them through. And a couple of times, your thing might come undone, and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I was so close to being done. It's okay. It's or it's gonna get a little stressful when it comes undone. You're gonna get a little like mad, but just don't give up because when you give up, you're gonna be. If you gave up, you will never know how it looks in the end. You'll never get that excitement, really, of being like I accomplished something really fun and relaxing to me. So don't give up. Just keep trying, and if you get tired of doing it, take a little break. Put it somewhere no one can touch it. Make sure it doesn't fall apart and take a little break. Then come back to it later and continue. So I threaded my first bead and then now I'm going to do my pink bead. See, and you're not going to get it through on the first try all the time because it's like it's a small thing and it kind of goes around it sometimes. You're just going to have to maneuver it so it does go through. So I have my first two beads and so you got the gist i'll check back with in with you guys when i'm halfway done see you guys okay so i'm almost done and it took a couple of minutes but i realized i have so much more string and i only have like i only have four beads left so I am going to continue my pattern in 
like just grabbing beads though. And if I mess up, I'll just pull that bead off. So I don't have that many beads right now. And I still have this much left. So yeah, I'm going to continue my pattern. And I'm just going to have fun with it, kind of. And if you don't want to, you don't have to like get a pattern all laid out. You can s skip that step. I just wanted to get a pattern all laid out so I, so I knew my pattern in the beginning. So I finished with all my beads, but I still have so much rope left, not rope, elastic left. So as I said a couple of seconds ago, I'm going to continue my pattern instead of having it be this small because it's for my mom and her wrists aren't this small. <laughs> so neither are mine. Like, I don't know. It c this doesn't really fit around anyone. It could be a ring, but not really because it would be too big. So I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to keep going until I get to like this much elastic left. See if that fits my mom. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'll do. I'm just going to like have fun with it. Maybe she can just have it not as a bracelet. Should just have it like maybe as a keychain. It doesn't matter. So I will set my pattern back up and see you guys in a couple of seconds. So I, this is a perfect example. I am actually so happy this happened to me. So what happened was I was like, okay, I'm going to continue my pattern off camera, right? But something happened. I ran out of these little white beads and I was like, oh, oh, well, and I improvised. I decided to use one of these purple beads and I was like, okay, since I ran out, I'll just use one of these purple beads and it'll just kind of be like that little special bead. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's still going to look amazing. No matter how much you mess up, it's yours. As long as you think it's pretty, like my brother, he might say, oh, Fiona, that's, oh, there's a bug. That's not that like cute or really pretty at all. And I might be like, okay, like, yeah, I'll feel a little hurt, but I'm not going to like be like, oh, this bracelet is the worst thing in the world. I might as well just throw it out. No, I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to be like, okay, and then walk away and still know in my head and in my heart, wow, like that was kind of rude, but I really like this bracelet. So I don't care what he thinks. Just care what you think and have fun with this bracelet. Mine has that one purple bead. It's okay. It's fine. It will look great in the end, and I will show you guys. And don't think that just because, like, oh, I'm a YouTuber, it's great, and, like, everything is perfect. It's not. And you'll, and you see that. I'm not going to go, like, buy another kit, especially right now during quarantine. I'm not going to buy another kit for that one bead. It's fine. I don't care about that one bead. So, yeah. I will check back in with you guys when I finish my bracelet. Okay, so I just finished my pattern, and I'm going to go see. So, see, look, that purple bead, you see it? It looks great. It looks fine. It looks amazing to me. I love it. And, um, I am, oops, did I mess up? I messed up. I messed up, but... I think it looks fine. And see how I messed up? I didn't want this pink bead right next to this one. This purple bead was actually meant to be right where this hot pink bead is. So, but I don't care. I'm just going to leave it because I like it. And I'm going to go see if this bracelet fits my mom. And I will take you guys with me. But what you're going to want it? Whoop. Oh, I thought I... Just let go of the part that wasn't tied. Which brings me to my point. Actually, wait. What you're, I'm going to take off a, one of a couple of the beads. Just because I don't have enough room to tie. But what you're going to do is, I'm going to show you gum. You're going to tie this end that isn't tied. It's going to be a little harder if you didn't save as much space for yourself. But I saved a little bit it's gonna be the less space you save for yourself the harder it's gonna be so save a little bit of space for yours not a little bit 
save like a good like a reasonable amount of space for yourself so i'm gonna double knot it even though double knotting didn't work for me in the past just because no it did work it's just the knot didn't come undone so i'm gonna tie this hopefully see i'm even having i'm even having oh man i'm even <laughs> i'm even having trouble tying this And you see me struggling. Boom. I tied it. So now I will bring you... This might not fit my mom. I'll be a little upset, but it's fine. So let me unplug my phone. And let me bring you guys with me to my mom. So now I'm going to see if this bracelet fits my mom. Does it fit it comfortably? All right, how close it's going to be. Okay. Nice? Good? Okay. Do you want me to kind of try and do add... Do you have any more beads? Yeah, I do. I'll try it. Do you want me to... Okay. So... Thank you. Ooh. And this is the person I'm making it for. <laughs> so... It's not perfect. I need to make it a little longer. Mm, sorry. I need to make it a little longer. No big deal. I'm just going to... Mm, sorry for that. Mm, this... Ooh, sorry it's tilted. What the heck? Ay ay ay. I'm gonna come back when I fix my tripod. Okay, fix the tripod. <laughs> um So my mom asked me to make it a little longer, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make it a little longer over here because I really don't have that much space over here. So I'm gonna make it longer. Uh I forgot my pattern. So it's Okay, so then it would be, uh, okay. Now, I'm, I'm just, I'm not even going to really try to make a pattern. I'm just going to put beads on that I think look nice together. Um, after that, oh, wait, okay. You know what? Let's go for it. I'm now, because I don't have that many beads left. I have one of the hot pink beads and then this color, but in teal. And a couple of those, and yeah. And this one big bead. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do, make it a little longer, and. Um. I forgot what I was gonna do. I should probably untie this once, but. I'm not going to because I can't. <laughs> um, and also, I don't really need to. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add a purple, purple, purple bead. I don't know. Purple bead, magenta bead. Oh, man. Oh, it fits over the knot. Dang, it fits over the knot. And then I'm going to add this teal bead because it's nice. It's not going to match the rest. It's okay. It doesn't matter. So um, then I'm going to add not a gold bead. A magenta bead. Come on, get out. And then... um. little okay and then i'm going to add oops a oh yeah then i'm gonna add a uh, pink bead because i'm just throwing things on here by now and then i'm gonna add one singular gold bead And you don't need that much patience for this, but, sorry, that's a little close, you can't see my head, but you do need a little bit of patience for this, just because it's kind of, like, time-consuming, and just do this if, like, uh, if you're kind of stressed out a little, 
Come on. I'm trying to get this thing through here. Um, so I'm going to take one gold bead off. And why not the pink bead? Because I need a little bit more room to tie my knot. So I just took off a couple of beads. And that's fine. And I'm going to tie my knot. And I'm going to tie it one more time because I know this one will fit my mom. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, now that I tied my knot, it's long. This is what it looks like. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a okay. Don't do that. But this is what it looks like. The ending is like that and that. Boom. Right? So then what I'm going to do, this is the part, it's kind of confusing. Not too confusing, though. So anyone would get this. And if it gets a little confusing for you, ask your parent to watch this video, to watch this little part of this video and uh, um, help you a little bit. And also... Don't go around, just, like, don't grab your parents, like, your mom's clear nail polish. Um, again, try to, your best to use clear nail polish. Um, don't go grab your mom's clear nail polish. Ask her first, or your sisters, just, or brothers if they wear nail polish, or dads, anyone. Don't just go grabbing their nail polish. Ask first, please, because I don't want to be the reason why you guys get in trouble. So, if you are following this video... Um, ask first. So, now, I'm gonna open my nail polish in advance. Just so I don't have to open it while I'm, like, doing stuff. So, it's open, right? I'm gonna place it down so it doesn't fall over. And, this might be the trickiest part of this video, and it's not even that tricky. So, this video isn't that hard. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the two ends you saved, right? Make sure you saved it. Sorry, my fingers are so big. <laughs> You're going to cross them over like that and put one through and pull it. And you're going to do that again. So let me just... And the second one might be a little trickier. But don't stress out, please. Because I don't want you guys getting stressed. Especially during a time like this. So, uh, <laughs> mine just undid, and I just thought it would undo the whole thing. So that's why I was like, <laughs> "That's you'll get used to that if I do a lot more of these videos, which I probably will because, like, this keeps me occupied. Because <laughs> I was really bored today. I was really meh, bored today. It was so nice out today. I hope you guys got, wherever you are, if you're in where, I, like, it was like, I'm not going to say where I live, but, like, if you're somewhere, like, hot, it was so nice out today, and I have a pool, it's just, it was so nice out, so, I hope you guys got outside, and so, I just tied my two little knots, right, so, now, this might be hard when it's when I'm holding it up, but that's okay because I'm going to do it. Watch! Oh no! Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your clear nail polish and wipe on uh, wipe the little brush on the sides, then put it on this little knot. Yeah, put on that little knot between those two beads. Get it on the beads if you want. It's okay. It won't, oh, it took off some of my bead color. It won't do anything really bad to the beads, though. Like, if it takes off some bead color, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's fine. But just, like, don't rub it on all the beads, obviously. Just, like, get it all on there. Make sure you get it on there. And then you don't need that much, actually. And then you're going to pull it together. Make sure it's tight. And then you're almost done. Like, this is, like, the second to last step, really. So you're going to let it oh, let it sit. Oh, why am I bleeding? 
No, nope, I'm bleeding, and I didn't even notice. So you're gonna let it sit for a little bit. I'm and I closed up my nail polish, and you're gonna let it sit not even that long, like not even that long, like five minutes maybe, just for it to dry fully, like you know it's dry. I don't even know where I got this cut from. Sorry. You're gonna let it dry fully. Not even fully if you don't want. Just make sure it's more than halfway there. So it's like not tacky, not sticky. Because if it is, it might come undone when you cut the little ends off. See, like here, let me show you. Um, here we go, here mine. Oh, then I have a little, I have beads everywhere, I'm sorry. I have like beads everywhere and it, mm. this project isn't really that messy. You're gonna wanna do it on a flat surface, not like a bed or anything, cause then it will get everywhere. Cause, so back to what I was saying. If you see, mine are very, here, wait. Uh, let me just, right there, focus. Sorry it won't focus, but mine are like uh, very, very short. And if it wasn't dry all the way, it would come undone completely. So in the end, it will look my, I made these last night, remember? So, in the end, it will look like this, this, and you can make a ring if you want. And I made a ring. I am not really a ring person, though, so I don't rare, rare, wear rings that much. But, so, this is what it'll look like in the end. And I'm just going to blow on mine for a little bit, so I'll come back when it's dry. And while that's drying, I actually got an idea just now. Just, just... Just, just, just now. And um, so I made this. I was trying to make a ring with this last night. But I was like, oh, man, it's too short. And I got, like, kind of upset. But So I just, like, cut another piece. But now I realize I can just make, like, a little rope. It doesn't matter. And put a keychain on it if I have one. <laughs> but, yeah, I can do that. So I'm going to do that. You can do something like this while it dries. But then again... You will have to put the nail polish on both parts. If it isn't together, you're going to have to put the nail polish on both parts to make sure it doesn't come undone. So you're going to want to do that. And so, yeah, I'm going to do that later. What is that? <laughs> I'm going to do that later. Like maybe later today, tomorrow. It doesn't matter when you do it. But here is my thing. It's not done yet. So I'm pretty sure... It is dry, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cut them as short as possible. For that, I'm going to wait overnight and then knowingly dry it tomorrow. But you're going to cut it like halfway maybe, like that much, not so you can still pull on it. I can still pull on it. See, it's longer now. So I'm not going to cut this one as short actually because that was a little too short for me. I'm going to cut it like this long. So it's still a little long, 